one of my faculty mem member exposed me to science films which was uh, by david attenborough's planet earth so i was like oh wow this is something i want to do because throughout my life i was juggling between creative field and physics and science so this was like mind opening to me because oh wow there is something like science film though i watched them but i never realized that this is something i wanted to do Welcome to the Storify India by Bhai Patrika. I'm Nandita Sharma, host for today's session with Harsh Khatwani, who is a science filmmaker. Welcome, Harsh. Hi, Nandita. Thank you for introducing me, and thank you for having me here at Bhai Patrika. Pleasure is all ours. So, Harsh, please tell me about how you entered this field of science filmmaking. Oh, that is a really interesting story. so to to explain that i have to go back to my childhood and then uh, tell you a brief instances of my life uh, so i was a very curious kid and uh, i used to watch a lot of science documentaries with my father he also used to watch a lot of uh, science documentaries on uh, television so so i used to enjoy that a lot but i was not a very good student so so but I, somehow i wanted to pursue science so i did my uh undergrad so, so i i took uh science uh with like i was the only person in my family who took science <laughs> and it was challenging at that time i was again not studying very well not doing good, uh very good there to mai jaise taise karke undergrad ke liye du mein pahunch gaya Uh, मैंने बीएससी करी वहां से डीयू से और मैंने बीएससी और एमएससी करते हुए बीएससी uh, करते हुए मैंने बहुत थिएटर किया तो मैं नेशनल स्कूल ऑफ ड्रामा के साथ थिएटर uh, किया मेरे कॉलेज की ड्रामेटिक सोसाइटी के साथ थिएटर किया और आई वाज मोस्टली डूइंग थिएटर एंड रेयरली स्टडिंग सो इट वाज इट वाज रियली इट चेंज माई लाइफ बिकॉज आई वॉज totally diving into the creative fields and then i realized uh, no hush you have to be serious and you have to do something so i thought of uh, going for msc so i uh, studied for the first time in my life studied hard to clear iit jam exam and luckily i got uh, i was able to clear it with all india rank for 488 and i got into nit so there i started doing my masters and then during my masters also i was again actively involved in creative fields i was studying physics and then again i was doing film making i was doing theater there i applied for a film school degree uh, i applied for satyajitra film school and i got it with all india rank 1 there which was very surprising for me then after there i dived deep into the art of creating cinema art of the the art of storytelling the art of filmmaking and there one of my faculty mem member exposed me to science films which was uh, by david attenborough's planet earth so i was like oh wow this is something i want to do because throughout my life i was juggling between creative field and physics and science so this was like mind opening to me because oh wow there is something like science film though i watched them but i never realized that this is something i wanted to do and uh, and this uh, changed my perspective towards my life and then what i wanted to do uh, uh, in like for the future so i decided ki main bhai science films banaunga और फिर uh, मैंने uh, जब मैं इंस्टीट्यूट से निकल ही रहा था तो एक जो जॉब ओपनिंग आई साइंस चैनल के लिए इंडिया साइंस चैनल जो कि विज्ञान प्रसार में uh, है तो मैंने उसके लिए अप्लाई किया और देन आई गॉट इट एंड आई स्टार्टेड लाइक आई पैशनेटली स्टार्टेड मेकिंग साइंस फिल्म्स आई आई होप आई आंसर्ड इट लाइक लॉन्ग 
<laughs> yeah, no, the journey has been quite long. So obviously the answer would have been that. So uh, you said you were the first in the family to do science. So how did you discover that passion or what interested you? And was there a defining moment that influenced you to take this field? Uh, it, it it was not a moment. I would say it was a journey again, because it was like I was curious. I, I used to ask a lot of questions in my class, but I was not very sincere and very serious, very disciplined in studying. Uh, I was into sports. I was into extra activities. So I was always doing those things, but somehow managing to score 70, 80 percent marks. And I knew it from like sixth standard or something that I want to take science. And if not science, if I won't be able to score that much, then uh, maybe arts, but not commerce at all, because my whole family is from commerce background. <laughs> so it was like something which I wanted to choose. Like science is something that I want to do at, at any cost. Great. So what were some of the biggest challenges uh, that you faced and how did you overcome those? I, I, every day there are challenges and uh, every day we are, we, we are overcoming them. And uh, so right now I am doing my PhD here in New Zealand. And uh, the biggest challenge which I am facing right now is that I just got married uh, in July and uh, I am in New Zealand right now doing my PhD. And my wife is in uh, another country, UK, where she is doing her PhD. So we are at the to different parts of the globe. So, so this is another challenge that we are facing and this is uh, what we are doing. And so, so the challenges that we, which I would say when I was into uh, school and then I followed science, I took science. So I was very difficult to study, I didn't know what to do, what to do, what to do, what to do. And IIT, NIT, I didn't know everything about it because no family didn't know in any family. तो वो चीज समझा हर लेवल पे एक एक चीज को एक्सप्लोर करते हुए और एक एक चीज को सॉर्ट करते हुए करते चले गए बस ऐसे ही था तो बहुत मतलब यही पूरी जर्नी रही है सो ग्रेट सो यू जस्ट टोल्ड दैट यू आर डूइंग योर पीएचडी फ्रॉम न्यूजीलैंड सो हाउ डज अ टिपिकल डे इन योर लाइफ लुक्स लाइक ओह दैट इज इंटरेस्टिंग अब न्यूजीलैंड आए हैं तो यहाँ पे खाना भी खुद बनाना है कपड़े भी खुद धोने हैं और पढ़ाई भी खुद करनी है तो आई ऑलवेज लव्ड कुकिंग बट आई नेवर न्यू दैट आई नेवर आई हैव नेवर कुक्ड एवरी डे बिकॉज इन इंडिया आई यूज टू कुक बट आई यूज टू कुक ओकेजनली लाइक वन और टू आईज इन अ वीक बट नाउ आई हैव टू कुक ब्रेकफास्ट डिनर लंच एवरीथिंग सो द डे स्टार्ट विद कुकिंग एंड द डे एंड विद कुकिंग इन बिटवीन आई स्टडी <laughs> and so i am very passionate about indian food so i am like i am not compromising any sort of uh, eating qualities like i have to eat proper dal chawal to hing dalna hai to dalna hai so it's like that kind of a thing so <laughs> uh, the day starts with uh, cooking then i go to my lab where i meet people i meet my supervisor i start Uh, diving deep into the literature i uh, my phd is in virtual reality and 360 videos and how we can communicate science using that so 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 i'm right now what i'm studying is that ki kya kaam abhi hua hai duniya mein vr ka use karke aur 360 videos ka use karke climate change ko लोगों तो लोगों तो पहुंचाने के लिए और इससे क्या इम्पैक्ट आता है लोगों के बिहेवियर में तो मैं भी बस वो पढ़ना शुरू किया है थोड़ा थोड़ा समझने की कोशिश कर रहा हूँ उस चीज को और और नेक्स्ट थिंग इज एक्सप्लोरिंग यूनिवर्सिटी मीटिंग पीपल टॉकिंग टू पीपल आई एम मेकिंग न्यू फ्रेंड्स हेयर एट द मोमेंट एंड देन आई गो टू प्ले टेबल टेनिस बिकॉज आई लव प्लेइंग टेबल टेनिस एंड आई गो टू प्ले टेबल टेनिस दैर in in the university spend there for one to two hours and then come back to home and start cooking great great so what are some of the important lessons that you have learned in your life and how they have shaped your behavior uh my uh, school teacher used to tell me uh, sarita ma'am uh, she always used to tell me that ki mushkil kuch bhi nahi bas karke dekho 
so this is something i always uh, uh kept to my heart and then uh, my parents are very much hard working and disciplined and they also always tell whatever you do give your 110% so i am the person ye mera matlab backbone hai ki ye do cheeze karni hai bas kuch try karo jo bhi hai bas try karo and then give your best so this these are the backbone of my philosophy and and then again a lot of learning throughout the journey of st- studying creative fields uh every day is a new challenge so you learn every day and keep on uh doing things so so yeah great that would be very useful for other people also to do that so what are some of the proudest achievements and why are they important to you my proudest achievement is yet to come <laughs> but uh, there are certain small uh, mo- moments which i consider as a uh, very uh, positive in my career uh, one is that i used to think that i'm not good in studies and so i took a challenge to clear iit exam and uh, even the day night before the exam i was like uh, i was not confident but i believed in the process that yes i worked really hard throughout this time and let's see what happens so when i got good ranking there i was like oh yeah i can do it like i can study as well and uh, and there there have been moments like uh i used to during my th- when i used to do theater tab ek it kanpur mein ja ke humne theater perform kiya tha aur bahut logo ke beech mein mujhe ek chhota sa award mila tha wahan pe to usse laga ki i started believing in myself so those small things makes you start believe in yourself and then you take challenges and when you are able to conquer a small challenge then i think it makes you like yes yes i can do it so so there have been defining moment but again it's it has been a journey of uh, ups and downs which uh, keeps me going so maybe it's just that little award that you got that moved you towards yeah. okay i'll have to stay in this creative field only yes yes that that <laughs> night i slept with that thought i definitely uh, agree with you so <laughs> <laughs> So Harsh what advice would you give to somebody who is navigating through life's challenges Okay so keep going i would say keep going keep keep following what you are what you believe in and believe in yourself so if you have great believe in yourself you can achieve whatever you want and just keep going so that's it i'm i know it sometimes it can be difficult sometimes it's really challenging but uh, but just keep going you if so, you you will find your destination so uh, tell us something about you what you look forward to in life right now okay so right now i'm like i have started my phd journey and right now for uh, for the next 3 years my goal is to understand the craft of virtual storytelling a virtual reality based storytelling and then uh, use it to communicate science so abhi mera background maine physics padha science padha maine film making padha aur uh, aur maine uh, i i studied abroad as well to do my to st- understand sound documentaries where i st- understood uh, sci- sound ke sath kaise kaam karna i went to loi lumer film school in paris to study that so throughout that time i was mostly working with traditional uh, film making but i was not involved in uh, virtual reality thing so this is a new challenge for me new craft for me right now i want to learn that craft and do my phd and uh, uh, after learning it i want to come back to india and uh, again create science stories and uh, and uh, it excite people towards science in india so that's my long term goal but the short term goal is to do my phd best well good luck to you for all that and surely it would be great for you thank so, you thank you my final question to you is given another chance is there anything would you do differently 
why or why not i think i won't i would not want to do anything differently and uh, uh, the reason is that that whatever mistakes i have done i have learned a lot from them and then this is what i think motivates me as well to do best so 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 i have i have been into two different fields and then uh sometimes i feel oh maybe maybe i'm doing wrong i should have followed physics or i should follow that but somehow they merged and then i'm so happy with what i'm what i chose in my life so so it's it's like whatever mistakes or whatever wrong things i have done in my life uh, my decisions which have been wrong unse sikha hi hai to usi ko hi aage aur sikhte jana hai to kuch alag to nahi karna chahta main but ha aisa hi aage karte jayenge ki jahan pe galtiyan bhi hongi aur acha bhi hoga so great harsh it was so great to have this conversation with you and i hope your journey takes you to your mission your final target of creating those very interactive and very inspiring visuals for science so all the best with that and thank you for sharing your story thank you so much thank you so much bio patrika for giving me this opportunity and thank you nandita for uh, such a warm uh, discussion thank you